All right, this is my last uh, few hours at Comic-Con. I'm really happy to be sharing it with you. You're leaving while yeah. I just arrived. Did okay. you just arrive? Just came in yesterday. Oh, excellent. And you're here for immor Immortals. Immor uh, all right, let's talk about Immortals. You are uh, this film coming out in November. Tell me about who you play in it. Um, I play Phaedra in, in Immortals. Um, she's the oracle priestess who has this gift and a curse of seeing the future, uh, the gift of visions. And she has to make this very um, a rather difficult decision between choosing love and power, the power that she has. Um, and she becomes part of the, the core group that Theseus forms in order to, Theseus being Henry Cavill, mm -hmm. um, um, to fight you know, the ultimate evil, King Hyperion. And was it a, a what kind of what is it like being in, in one of those movies with superpowers? This was my first ever actually. I had never done a big budget film with um, the whole CGI factor involved in it, so uh, it was great. I couldn't tell much of uh, what was happening because you know we were just looking at green screens, but we had real life sets out there as well. We had a real shrine built. We had a real cliff over there, but. You really cannot tell because you're shooting in 3D as well, you know. It's not just 3D in post, it's 3D while we're shooting. So it's difficult to understand what's happening, which is why I guess watching little clips and snippets here and there mm -hmm. make you realize that you're part of this massive fantasy making kind of a film. It's great. Are they going to uh, show some of it here uh, I, today? Yeah, I think so. I think something that I haven't even seen, they're going to be putting it out there. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it makes uh, me nervous. <laughs> well, we, we all collectively, I can tell you at Vanity Fair, fell in love with you with Slumdog. And Thank we, you. I, you were a vanity. It's a very gorgeous one. And I've been following you since then. And you're in India and London. You've been very busy. Mm -hmm. um, have you decided to kind of make the pilgrimage to uh, North America and come to Hollywood? Or are you still I'd living in India? No, I'm kind of living every, everywhere. I can't think of uh, where I put my bags down last and stayed there for a good two to three months. I've just been traveling everywhere. So. It's been London, Canada for the last six months last year. I did a short of film in India, and then I was in Tunisia, so I guess it's craziness. I'm, I love being a gypsy. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you keep in touch with um, Danny <coughs> Boyle at all? I met him last year at the Toronto Film Festival because he had 127 hours, and I had a Julian Schnabel film there. So it was really nice seeing him. It's always nice meeting people who've kind of, especially Danny Boyle, because I think he really gave us that break that we mm -hmm. needed. Um, so yeah, it's very nice seeing him. But, it's, I'm sure he's so busy with his whatever he's doing next with Frankenstein that he just finished. So it's difficult keeping in touch, but it's always a pleasure to meet them. Oh, it's great. He you really, meet them. he kind of changed the whole world with that movie. I think it's. I incredible. would like to believe he did. Yes, he definitely <laughs> did. Uh, and tell me a little bit about this Michael Winterbottom movie. Uh, oh yeah, uh, that one I shot in India this year, um, and it's a modern-day contemporary version of Test of the Devils, and we've seen. Roman Polanski's death in 1970, uh, yeah, the 70s, and we've seen a television series, so it's going to be very interesting to see an Indian take on the same story. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. Well, good luck with um, Thank you. your journey and the panel and the madness and the way it's over there. It's about a half a mile that way. I was there last night, actually. You so were? Around I mean, the area. So. What's your favorite costume that you've seen so far? So Actually, my dri I, I didn't see it, but my driver told me that there was a girl who had a bikini painted onto her body. <laughs> it was, so I think that would have been an interesting one to see, but I, I haven't. <sighs> it's just too crazy, you know, for you to just pick one favorite. Well, I, I think we saw a little ice cream man yesterday, a man dressed up as ice cream. <laughs> I'm just trying to learn all the characters. I don't know. I mean, I'm waiting for uh, immortals to have characters. I mean, I guess this time next year there'll be someone as you in that costume. I guess that's the goal, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully. I mean, it was, it was a beautiful costume. We had Eiko uh, designing the costumes. Mm -hmm. And then nothing like the Greek toga or anything like it. You know, it's completely Tarsem's vision and what he wants his Greek epic to look like. So we had red corsets and these little skirts, which were almost like not there. But oh. Great. Very, very sweet. Very well, sweet we look costumes. forward to yeah. it. It's great. Thanks, Frida. Thank you. So nice to see you again.